curious part about the hantavirus is the fact that it doesn't seem to pick any certain age group. It's young, old, or any nationality. The ages of people who have contracted hantavirus illness has ranged from 12 to 69, and the average age has been about 30. It's affected both males and females pretty much equally. Um, interestingly, most people who have contracted the illness have been healthy and very active prior to becoming infected. Initially, the virus was identified among people living in the Southwest, and for that reason, some misinformed people believed it was only an Indian disease. But it isn't simply an Indian disease. It affects people of all races and ethnic backgrounds from all over the country. The one thing they all had in common is they came into contact with an infected rodent host, either at work or at home or through some recreational behavior. We clean out tractor cabs and combine cabs and truck cabs, uh, grain drills and planters, uh, boxes. Though those things, they all they all carry or have mice nests and rat nests or whatever, whatever the case may be. Rodents uh, nests in them, and and um, if that's where I got exposed, I, I guess I'm not real sure. We don't know exactly how each specific individual has become infected because there are a variety of circumstances under which people become infected, either at work, at play, or at home. The common factor, however, appears to be contact with infected rodents. And what's clear is that the closer this contact is with infected rodents, the more likely somebody is to become ill. Obviously, somebody's greatest risk of becoming ill is if they have direct contact with infected rodents. This could occur either through cleaning out your home, where there's some infected rodent nests or droppings, or while trapping rodents or possibly touching these rodents. We also believe that people are at high risk if they have indirect contact with rodents. We've had a number of cases where people have become ill shortly after entering tightly enclosed spaces where rodents had recently been living. It's possible that when people enter such spaces, the rodents scurry around and actually aerosolize dust and live virus up into the air where people can breathe it. Also, if somebody is cleaning out such areas, such as attics or barns or sheds or garages, uh, it's possible that they're going to start also stirring up some dust and rodent nests that will start getting up into the air. People are probably at some risk when they enter areas where rodents are out in the open. This can occur from disturbing the rodents' natural habitat through agricultural activities or outdoor activities. The most common times that people come into contact with rodents are spring and summer, when people are opening up cabins or sheds and cleaning out buildings that have been closed during the winter. I guess that the spring I got sick of 92, I uh, don't remember seeing any more mice than usual, but, but because we were busier, I, I do remember being, being exposed to more mice and, and rodent nests uh, in the cleaning of equipment. Fall is also an important time because that's when mice tend to come indoors to seek warm shelter during the winter months. Actually, the chances of your getting a hantavirus infection are very low. If you compare the number of infected rodents that we've seen to the number of cases, it's really an uncommon event. Occasionally, more than one person in a family will get the disease, but that's extremely rare. As a matter of fact, it's not a common disease in this country at all. We've only found about 50 Americans who have been infected in the last year. However, when you do get the disease, it's very serious. More than half the patients have died despite good medical care.